What's up, Tim KBA? One Tech Traveler here in Seoul, South Korea. Now, today we're going to be checking out this huge package that has arrived from Code of Bell and check out some of their small and large everyday carry. This literally just arrived. There's a lot for us to uncover today. We are going to look at Basics a Camper Hat, Annex Liner, the CrossPod 2. The Cross Pack Evo Sling Pack, and finally, the Cross Type Backpack. You can check out my feature article on Quota Bell on my website at onetechtraveler.com. Now, if you think any of these are right for you or you'd like to explore the rest of Coda Bell's range, then you can support the channel by using the links down below, which I'll be putting in the video description and the pinned comments. Let's get started. We can take this ride. Wherever it goes, as long as you're with me, I feel at home. Can you tell me why? Cause I wanna know. As long as you're with me, I feel at home. Yeah. I'm wave goodbye. I'm very much a hat person, so we're gonna kick it off with the basics camper hat. This is the first of their non-EDC. I've got the Daybreak. They've also got a standard pitch black, a multicam, Tropic, which is more of a, a jungly type, and then an Orchid, which kind of fuses different colors too. I kind of liked it for the very vibrant orange. The base material uses EcoPack fabric, which means it is inherently waterproof as a laminate nylon, but EcoPack is a bit more sustainable. It's going to give you that waterproofness, UV resistance, and retains color a bit more. Perforated ventilation on the rim, soft moisture wicking antimicrobial in a headband to absorb that moisture and sweat. Buckle is fairly substantial, that kind of has steps for you to adjust the sizing. Laser slits, but you've got great weatherproofness with the laminate that you can kind of see underneath Code of Bell logo. And overall, this is just a very interesting camper style hat, which I'm going to be wearing for the rest of this video. To my whole life, been reaching for some new hats. My baby did a whole time. And it feels right. You by my side. A modern body can clap. I need my partner pin cry. Now the first Coda Bell EDC we're going to check out is the Annex Liner. They collaborated with Harvest Label to add their DNA, the overall silhouette, the shape. A lot of the feature sets here is the same as the original Annex Liner. You can still pick up in their standard pitch black. You've got this very beautiful blue nylon twill that has a bit more of a silky sheen, nice and smooth, and just gives it a bit more of a smart and look from the material choice. They also add some leather accents like on the zippers, this pull tab. You can just about make out it says harvest on the zipper. You've got one main compartment and this is primarily the most expandable aspect spacious already. Now what's cool is you'll see these two buckles and these harvest label versions are metal. If we detach these, one on both sides, now you've kind of got license to really stretch this out. You can see it starts getting a, a pyramid shape. So now you can drop in even bigger items. They've also got another zipper on that same compartment. So you can also access it from the bottom and you can clip these metal buckles when it's fully expanded so that it kind of still gives you a good hold at full navy liner inside so they've just gone for a nice color matching with the exterior and the internal a shoulder strap the matching blue for the harvest label edition the metal hooks with gated clips to secure these onto the rear d-rings and this particular strap it has a fidlock buckle so you can slide it in and out you've got an extra strap that you can tether button with harvest and secure it onto this external carry for other items like the annex wallet or just anything of your own so very interesting i'll see kind of how it carries along the way it is detachable so if you have your own then you can simply use those inside's really cool you can see the harvest label and the code of bell collaborative patches we've got a pull tab 
that exposes the tablet sleeve. Two open pockets towards the front and a pen stylus loop in the middle. That's going to give you your main section. I think you can fit in a 7200 telephoto lens, a big water bottle, like one liter and round in size. So there's a lot of versatility when it comes to expandable storage. While the front is the most expandable part, you can still increase the, the base panel of the main section and they have these two buttons that you can unclip. Even more external attachment options in between those two sections, we have some webbings, like eight webbing pieces. There's a lot of creative options how you might want to use that in between section that I'll definitely be racking my head around. Really fashionable version, this Harvest label. I do love the nylon twill, especially this blue. Also came in a nice sage green, the hardware metal buckles, the leather pull tabs, and the matte finish of the zippers with Harvest all feels and looks really nice. That tablet sleeve, you can fit up to it, an 11 inch iPad Pro, certainly my iPad mini 6, which is eight inches. And then towards the back, we have another rear pull tab for smartphone, your iPad instead. And we also have this stowable rear carry handle, so you can carry it like a clutch on its own. If you don't want to use it, then you just hide it away under the Velcro fasten, kind of like the way that it transforms itself to mode how you want to carry and the kind of stuff that you're carrying too. You're still going to get weatherproof fabrics. The zippers are YKK and water repellent and it's just got more of a technical fabric familiar with the rest of Code of Bell's gear that you'll be seeing in a moment. So uh, if you still like the Annex liner one, more of a technical look, then Code of Bell's got the original Annex liner available. Life gets the best of me, I don't know what to do. Miles still ahead of me and I don't have a clue right now. We've got the Cross Pod 2. This is the smaller sling pack, pretty much at the other end of the spectrum when it comes to minimal. This one is just hyper functional and it's just got all the bells and whistles if you are really looking for very rich and deep utility. We've got two compression straps that are removable. I can see it here. They just thread through these tabs on the front. And this is like the Annex liner. You've got the expandable section on the front piece. Got two buckles on either side and use them as external carry and add stuff in front of this expandable section. Detaching these two buckles, which do vary depending on the color. This zipper just opens up full cavity. It helps with the visibility or looking inside and you've got nice full sweep for accessing anything in here. Again, like a telephoto 7200 lens, 100, 400 zoom, and uh, even a one liter water bottle. You've got so much packability in this front section. You might be able to see the Code of Bell logo. The orange line has got more of a multicam, vibrant orange. So really good internals when it comes to material proofness. And you've also got a detachable D-ring for your key rings, just snaps back on long and it has a code of belt on here. It's kind of a, a very thin, but really durable piece in its fully expanded form. And naturally as a crossbody or sling, and then it kind of sticks outwards. So if you want to access that expandable section normally, then you can just open it from the top and it's going to give you a really nice access into that expandable area that Coda Bell logo and the same magnetic D-ring. You do have jaw zippers on either side, so you can kind of have one on the left to know which one you're opening. This is essentially your admin panel, this stretchy mesh divider for like a, not quite a Nintendo Switch, but something close to it. Definitely in the main body, you can fit a Nintendo Switch in here. Not necessarily enough for an iPad mini. This is a bit more on the smaller side. And then towards the front, we have two fully zipped pockets with a stretchy mesh. So I really like the two section space that they offer inside. Some labeling for XPAC and Kujura. I probably would have liked it to be a little bit further away, maybe on the front lid rather than the back since it kind of interrupts 
getting into this divider, but it's just a little thing. The back is really nicely padded. We've got YKK zippers that also gives us a hidden rear security pocket. Also a small carry handle too. The shoulder strap has a Fidlock metal buckle. And we can simply tether it out. It's got this little pin that's easy to just pull off from, but it's very substantial and quite big in size, really secure in the way that it opens too. You don't have that much space, so it does depend on your gear, but you can kind of throw small coins. You've got one on both sides of those straps, which is really handy. Hyperlon webbing, you get quite a few in here, and it's also got Coda Bell's logo too. Stabilizer strap, so it's nice that it comes included. And just underneath these Hyperlon webbings, you've got this little strapping and you can just hook it. That can give you extra stability and hold on your body on both sides. Really nice. These are also really well padded and that's something I'm starting to notice on Coda Bell with really good cushioning and padding where some bags tend to be a bit light on it. So it does make it more comfortable and usable if you do want to carry heavier loads. Now we move on to the big guns. This is kind of an upscaled version of the Cross Pod 2. Coda Bells recently replaced their base Quadruo nylon with a ReCore RN66 recycled nylon. So you've got the ReCore nylon on the base materials and then the X-Pack with the signature X-Ply mesh visible in the laminates itself. So the front, these two compression straps, we can unbuckle those, unbuckle the bottom and the top. And that's going to give us the two tails of it. This space is huge. You can see how much access and extra space we get from this weatherproof shell. The orange multicam liner, same featured here. This sling can be used in all different orientations. So you've got the Coda Belt logo, zip pocket towards the top. The mesh also helps being able to see what is inside. And this external expansion can honestly fit a ton of different tech, camera, gym, sports gear, traveling even, external pockets. This is going to tuck away. Now you kind of have to wrap your head around this because there's just multiple entry points. Once you get the hang of it though, then it's pretty awesome. Let's go into the main section. Really spacious, you've got good depth in here. Two mess stretchy pockets, orange water camera liner pockets on this side. On the top, a stretchy divider that you can kind of pull away to make it easier to access. Coda Bell kind of rates it at 13 inches and it's more because of its like narrower dimensions. I'm gonna see if I can get away with my 14 inch laptop. Oh, definitely can. Just behind this tab that folds down for the divider. It comes included with this detachable carrying handle and this is really well padded. You've got two separate G hooks. If you're in use with weight, it should be fine, but it feels like it could be easy to come off hook anything else on these Hyperlon webbings. In front of those, we have two small zip pockets, one down here, another one, and the zips facing down up. You can put in the corner. I do love it, but there is a learning curve. On the back side, access it from this side, and it's just got the same bright lining, really cushioned on the back panels for your spine, so I really like that support. Open it from here, and you've also got access like this but you'll notice they aren't dual access to the same pocket. So this pocket is going to give you access to a separate section. So packability, pockets wise, honestly, it's insane. Slight difference on the left side where we had those two pockets. This is actually your water bottle pocket. Lots of Hyperlon webbings 
fairly tight so i wouldn't say it's for the biggest type of bottles you're better off putting it inside but slim bottles you can put it in here even more hyperlon webbings mounting options and a small pocket on top there too it's got that same orange liner and this is where you're going to find the detachable d-ring clip like so Whew. final parts are on the strap itself really substantial very wide very thick nicely padded and well ventilated with those mesh panels you've got a d-ring here for external clipping same stabilizer strap buckle and mounting point like we did on the smaller cross pod and finally we have another zip pocket here for smaller bits like commuter cards as a hyper functional type of carry this is really impressive time will tell when it comes to using this and how i find trying to work around all those different straps and whether i get confused or not is going to impact the overall usability that is the crosspack evo sling sometimes you can't even see what's right in front of you life is the best of me i don't know what to do i'm still ahead of me and i don't have a clue right now but we can take this back wherever it goes as long as you're with me i feel at home can you tell me why because i Finally, we get to the cross type backpack. There's the front, left side, the right, and the back. Really substantial padding, like the cross pack Evo, a lot of mesh ventilation and differences. We've got a luggage pass through strap. It is vertical nature. And this one's just more breathable ventilated panels underneath. You might be able to see some of the perforated holes there. Now, accessing the expandable strap is slightly different. That bottom buckle kind of sits towards the back rear. And for the top piece, we've got this one. And it's the same as the fidlock buckle on the Crosspack Evo for the sling itself. And this is offset towards the corner, which is really interesting. Unbuckle the compression straps. What's unique is now you've got your two-tone for the expandable. So we've got vibrant orange on this side. And we've got the slate gray, huge expandable access and storage. This is how it looks like. This is gonna actually stick outwards. We can also access it from a normal front and unzipped. That's going to give you access to those same panels. One zip pocket here, an open slot. So of course it's a lot easier if you take the front wrapping off versus having to detach the compression straps. It's a little bit easier to know the main sections open because it sits further towards the back with the carry handle sort of separating the front expandable section. You get these zippers here. Now this is your admin laptop section and it has similarities to the Crosspack Evo sling. We've got two stretchy mesh orange lining pockets just behind it actual two dividers this time one for a tablet this can be full size for a 12.9 inch ipad pro and towards the back so probably 15 maybe 16 inch laptop and it has the coda bell logo just here it's really big mesh section with a vertical zipper although there's no internal organization things may fall down to the bottom or you'd have to stack it two side pockets Fairly decent in shape, but it's more on the slim side for small umbrella cinch cord type of pocket. And this is like an internal bottle pocket. And this is also accessible from the outside. We'll look at shortly. Uh, touching on that cinch cord, this is the external opening to it. The opening is fairly small, so I wouldn't necessarily say it's like a great access for that water bottle pocket. This is kind of oh, the waterproof material with a drainage hole fairly small but you might find some use for it like edc multi-tools for example on the left side we have that side zipper pocket two d-ring clipping points on both you got sternum straps that can also detach and also a slimmer waistband this is just a buckle and gives you extra stability for those heavier gear loads Whew, it's got absolutely dark right now but i think 
I think we've just covered everything. So that just about wraps it up, Team KBA. Thanks a lot for joining me in today's video. A lot of really cool and interesting hyper utility everyday gear. Which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. Stay tuned for my follow up video and written reviews on each one of these once I've got a bit more mileage out of them, tested them and really dive into all of the nitty gritty features that are kind of hidden and tucked away. If you think any of these Coda Bell gear are right for you or you want to see the rest of their range, then support the channel by using the links down in the video description and the pinned comments. So yeah, thanks a lot Team KBA. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, keep being awesome. Peace. We can take this ride Just